Hey, this is Mark Mathis from HousePlanGallery.com and just a quick message before the video starts. Now if you like this house plan and just need a few modifications or if you just have questions about something you've seen on our site, just give us a call at 601-264-5028 and we'll be glad to help. Again, thanks for stopping by and we look forward to helping you find the house plan of your dreams. Linwood house plan. Uh, if you will notice the difference uh, of this house plan than the original is we left off the uh, picket railing for the more colonial type look that we wanted and uh, as we get closer we'll go over some farther changes that we have made to the plans as well. If you will notice on the uh, siding we have used uh, hardy plank we have opted to go with hardy plank versus vinyl for the siding and as well on the uh, soffit uh, we use the beaded height event soffit uh, that's just something that we preferred if you look at the beaded the beaded soffit uh, and also the hardy plank This is a look under the porch of the beaded soffit and also we bumped the garage wall out two feet and we'll be showing you a view of that. We did it, we bumped it out two feet to put up a double garage door. So we come in the front door. The room straight ahead, that's the uh, laundry room. It was supposed to be a storage room accessible from the garage, but we made that into an actual laundry room instead of a storage room. We actually split the closet from the dining room and made a coat closet here in the foyer. We added two foot to this end of the house and made this bathroom into a double lavatory instead of just a single lavatory like the plans show. We chose to do the big crown molding in all the rooms. We actually made this kitchen two feet wider. That bay window's eight feet instead of six feet. This is a stairway leading up. This goes out to the garage, but it's a mess. We won't show that. 
into the master suite. We opted to continue the crown mold instead of doing the actual tray ceiling that was shown on the plans. This was actually supposed to be a closet, uh, laundry room. We made this into a closet. And here's the master bathroom. Inside the master bedroom or bathroom, this is the shower. Uh, the crown molds continued throughout the whole entire house. This being the master closet, which is a huge closet, walk in closet. Jacuzzi tub. We opted to do stone travertine on all the floors and the backsplash in the uh, bath area. This is a water closet room. This is going up into the bonus room area. We opted to put a attic access door in here to the attic access. Stairs going up. up into the bonus room area. This room is about 14 by 26. We use this as our family room. Up here we have a, another full bath. Uh, we did the shower stall, oil rub bronze, door handles, fixtures, hinges throughout the whole entire house. travertine on all the floors back here this the plan actually called for a hip roof back here and we chose to gable it all the way to the end to make this room instead of attic access finished area and this is a playroom for the kids as you can see and it's about 12 by 26 which makes a nice playroom area uh, for the kids We are back outside again showing the front of the house um, and walking around to the left side of the house as you can see the garage area. Uh, we opted to do the double doors instead of the single door as shown on the actual plan itself. And again this of course is the garage side of the house. going around to the back of the house you can see the wind up there where the bonus room is and again that was calling for a hip roof and we chose to gable it and go with uh, and put a wind up there in that room as well uh, the witch's hat on the bay window uh, we did the uh, bay window brick instead of doing the stack joint as you can see on the bay window brick and also I put an overhang on the witch's hat instead of not, not doing an overhang. We continued to overhang all the way around the house, which I think was a nice accent. That's the inset to the porch. We don't have the steps built there yet. We're going to, uh, we're putting a pool in and we haven't got that far yet. Uh, this being the uh, rest of the back of the house. Going around to the other side. Uh, we didn't do hardy plank or vinyl in there. We just went ahead and bricked that gable all the way up That's what we opted to do so Back around to the front of the house 